Alright guys, this is Upstorm here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Ty Tasmanian Tiger. In the last episode, we finished things up. Well, no, we didn't finish things up. Um, we uh, nearly finished up Liar Liar Pants on Fire in one part. Oh, extra life there. Um, so all we have to do, we just have four missions. Ow. God. That's like scratch myself. Really bad. Four missions and uh, two cogs. Excuse me, good sir. Um, so yeah, not much to do here. Probably gonna start uh, the. Um, God, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Probably gonna start the second level in this area. So that would be good. Actually, no, I've already been down there. What am I doing? No, 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 no. Alright. That's how this party's gonna go. Not much to talk about, really. This is a very easy level, but, uh, we got a pretty cool mini boss with a really original song. Gotta do. Gotta do some stuff first. Gotta get these levers, levers as they call them. Oh, you seriously? I just literally fell in the same spot too. Oh my gosh. Well, it, maybe, maybe. What the hell? Guy just fell over. <laughs> maybe they're trying. Maybe. Oh, you. It's the quicksand incident all over again, I swear. Let's not fall off this time. The game's trying to tell me that I should stick to my two parts per level. A uh, thing I've got going on here. That's the only thing I can call it. Uh, if only I was playing on the GameCube. So all the lovers are on this path here. And let me drop down right here. And oh my gosh, it's magic. Somehow all these plants grew literally two seconds. Magic. Okay, so now we have to climb this hill one more time. Got a golden cog to get, and then we're gonna fight the second mini boss. I've, I'm pretty sure um, when I faced Nettie, I said it was. So now we gotta go this way. When I faced Nettie, I said it was the only mini boss in the game. I was wrong. There's actually three. We've already faced him, so got one more. Oh, please don't tell me I have to climb the back up there again. Anyways. Only one more golden cog, and we'll be getting that at the very end. Oh, I can just drop that here. Very nice. Actually, that's probably what you're supposed to do. Just go over, get that cog, and hit all the levers as you come up, but whatever. Oh, perfect timing. And there's the last golden cog down there. The only way to get is to glide from up here, but we got, we got some things to do. You're gonna want to have the frosty ring out for this. And uh, jump in here. Really an original song here. Fits the battle perfectly. And yep, that's right, we're battling him. You've missed with Boss Cass. Now I'm gonna miss with you. Alright, so what you wanna do? He's got his deadly rangs, as they they're in there called. I actually take uh, two hits of health later in the fight. So you want to try and hit him with the frosty ring while his ring is like coming back to him. He gets hit by his own ring. There we go. So 
that'll take a bunch of hits off of it. If you just try and hit him with normal rings, it's gonna each hit is gonna take that little bit of health. But if you do this strategy, it's gonna take a lot more. It's hard to keep him in front of you though. You're trying to avoid there's no lock on feature to speak of. And he's just fast too. Very nice. Only one more hit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Don't die yet. You know his health doesn't reset. Don't feel like dying. Best strategy is to keep just jumping around him. It's hard to keep him. I don't even know where he is. Okay. Oh, that was nice. All right, so that's it. I, I can't believe it. No one's ever beaten me in battle before. You haven't seen the last of me. And he commits suicide. <laughs> uh. So, one more thing to do, we'll just glide around in here. Hey you! Liarbird! The name's Lemmy! Yeah! And Anyways, he tells you, I really shouldn't have skipped that, but he tells you the furnace, he's left something valuable in the furnace, and if you use your flame rings, you can get it out. I actually believed him at first and tried to use my flame rings, and it exploded and killed me. Hit it with your frosty rings a bunch of times. My thunder egg. How are we looking on time? Probably like eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. So we just got the time attack in that last card to do. So what we're gonna do. Can we glide it from here? Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna get this cog, and I'm gonna cut ahead to when I get to the beginning of the level, so we can do the time attack. So I'll see you then. Alright, we're back. And it's Let's the Wombat. Race, with recycled audio. Alright, so fastest way to do this is to go left er, oh it's just a second oh yeah. This one you wanna go left and then hop down. You don't wanna make that jump, you just wanna drop down. Are you serious? What? How how did I miss that? How did I miss that? How did I miss that? This is what you're too slow, bro. Um, yeah, not sure how I missed so the you... ring. Um, wow, that's never happened before. Should have tested a bit more, Chrome. Actually, who am I kidding? I've probably done this race like 10, 20 times. As much as I've played this game as a kid. So this is what you're supposed to do. Just take the first one, first left, and there we go, 29 seconds. Ah, I did it! Wow, you won! You got lucky as all. But fair is fair. Next time I'll beat you. Sweet. And more recycled audio. Okay, so that is it. Or liar liar pants on fire. In ten minutes I'm gonna cut it off here. I don't wanna start a new level and end it so early, so uh thank you guys for watching. This has been Storm's Let's Plays. Stay tuned for the next part where we go into Beyond the Black Stump. Peace.